Hello. Hello, hello, Cancers. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Queen Cancer Tarot Channel, everyone. I am the host. My name is Catherine. I am here to bring you clarity, guidance, and love messages. I have timeless readings for all of our lovely Cancers and all, all of the signs, actually. Today, we are back with Pisces energy, and we are going to be reading for Pisces. Now, this channel was primarily created for Cancers. Those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Please keep in mind, I do a giveaway on this channel every month. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, crystals, jewelry, and free readings. All you need to do is be subscribed to the channel in order to be entered in your chance to win. All right. Um, I will host the winners on the community page, which I am late, I believe, um, putting the winners up for... Um, the last drawing so for the last week so i'm going to be putting up this last week and then the most recent weekly winners because i also do a weekly giveaway where i give away three question readings okay and i give it away to three of our lucky subscribers and those of you who have commented in the comment section that you would like to win okay so you have to let me know by putting hashtag win hashtag i want to win or hashtag win free win a free reading or win a reading i don't care just hashtag something in the comments letting me know that you would like to be in the drawing all right and your name will go in that drawing which it looks like this all right, and I have all of those names that are in this bag. You guys, it's getting really full. You see how full it is? It's up to here. And those are very tiny little bitty pieces of paper that I'm writing your names on when I see your entries, you guys. Okay, I'm going to scan through the comments after every one of my videos and see who all of you are leaving comments. And those of you who are letting me know that you would like to win, I'm just writing your name down and I'm putting you in the bag. And my memory is short, so I don't remember. Every time I see a new video and I see your name, letting me know you wanna win, your name is going in that bag. So you can up your chances to win just by watching more videos, you guys. All right, it's that easy. And leaving more comments, all right, very important. All right, make sure you guys like the video. First and foremost, you just don't understand how much that does. That's like you guys leaving me a tip. You don't have to pay for anything. You don't have to book a personal reading. Although if you'd like to, my website is below. You can see it in the ticker and also in the description box. If you would like to check out um, <clears throat> that information, um, you can go and book a reading there with me. Also, you guys, I am going to be hosting um, a, a recommended readers list on my description box. I'm working on that, and I'm going to be hosting uh, recommended decks that I use, okay, with the links, and that's going to be on my website. All right, so moving right along. Um, you guys have one week to claim your prize for the weekly winners, and you have six weeks to claim your prize for the monthlies, okay? All right, so... Let's get back to the Pisces. All right, this is part two. We kind of were going long yesterday, so I just decided to um, cut it short. And so now we're back full steam. All right, and we are going to get through this reading. So what's interesting is you guys saw we pulled, so we had Labyrinth here, and then in the other Oracle deck here, completely different deck we pulled the labyrinth so definitely an open people are kind of all over the place okay so i feel like there is a lot of that's taking place you know dating multiple people you can have multiple people around you Okay, so, um, but again, there's an energy of somebody, and I feel like, again, this is your person. Um, I feel like you have been on this toxic path with this person. Do you understand? Um, and it's caused a lot of hostilities to um, fester within you. Um, but I do believe you're being called to, to remain positive. Okay, to remain positive. Um, 
And also, again, there's an energy of the community or people, those around you are going to be coming in to assist you. One plus five is six. There's an energy of you starting over. OK, going on a new journey. OK, going on a new journey. All right. Um, but, yeah, you're starting to side eye the situation again. I feel like you're the this brunette in this situation and you're looking over at the person right now. You have a lot of other things going on right now. So there's an energy of just wanting to get away. Um, starting to realize you're, you're, you're not in the right place here. You're not in the right place. Again, lovers and community, there's just a whole lot going on with this person. Do you understand? They are what I call community D or community P. You can figure it out for yourself, you guys. Okay, moving along. And on your person's energy on their side here, we're definitely seeing energy of endings here with skull number 29 represents 11 twin flame energy. We saw release your ex Pisces. I mean, it doesn't get any more clear than that. Release your ex. Just let it go. It's time to heal and let go with learning. Learning. And this is number four. And we have protection here. So there's an energy of needing to now protect yourself. And this is number one. So there's an energy of now needing to, to revert back back to who self you need to protect yourself protect your own energy okay learn your lessons from the past uh, because this person is on this <clears throat> toxic toxic cycle all right with the magician and the mayor there's an energy of you know seeing this person for you know what they are i feel like it's a very manipulative energy here okay very manipulative energy. Occupation and gift, long distance and soulmate. Yeah, you've been down this road with this person for a long time. So that's kind of where we are standing here. Let's look at the tarot and see what we got going on. And we're going to look at the obstacle here for the challenge. So what is the obstacle or the challenge that Pisces is going to face with their person here? Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about Pisces, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about Pisces. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about Pisces, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. So we have glamour energy, glam. I like seeing this when it's in the upright. And we have Karasar, autonomy. Karusar, autonomy. I want to get the proper pronunciation of some of these words. I will do that one day. <laughs> All right, so this is the challenge here. Um, and I feel like there's an energy of someone is really feeling themselves. Um, there's an energy of, you know, I feel like it's like somebody is like definitely in like Queen of, I'm definitely getting Queen of Wands vibes, okay? So when we go to clarify these cards, y'all, don't get mad at me. Don't get mad or don't get surprised when we pull that big old fat queen of wands out i'm just saying i am just saying right now um because look at this card i mean this person is sitting in their she garden okay they probably have like a what do you call a she house in the backyard that's definitely like all glammed up. You see she has drapes in it, okay? I definitely have to have a she house with like 
fully decked out and laid out and everything with like pink carpet and the whole nine. Do you understand? I mean, plush carpet. Do you understand like that micro fiber plush carpet? But yeah, I, I can see this person. They, they got off work. They came home and put on their, you know, fanciest nightgown with heels and did their hair up and they're looking like a hundred bucks, a million bucks, <laughs> hundred bucks is a little, they're looking like a million bucks here. Okay. Um, but they're, they're chilling. They're on their own. They're feeling themselves. They don't, they don't need anyone around them disturbing their energy. Drink is made. Like no one can bother this person right now. They're having their own personal happy hour. Do you understand? Getting all glammed up for no reason whatsoever. Definitely in that queen of wands energy. Like you, I don't have to answer to anyone. <coughs> I dress, I woke up like this. I went to bed like this and I wake up like this. You know, there's that energy there. So interesting. So with autonomy here, and I like this one too. This is one of my favorite cards here in this Oracle deck. This is the cannabis Oracle deck. You guys, you have got to got to check it out. Very cool deck. Just a very cool deck. Um, Oh, I'm looking at this. Sorry, you guys. I have to silence alerts on my phone here. Oh, my gosh. Okay, hold on for just a second, guys. My Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys, I'm back. There's a little bit of inter interference here. Um, but this is one of my favorite cards in this, this deck here. This is the Cannabis Oracle deck here, and Tarot deck. Um, it's got all of the major arcana represented in this deck here. I don't know why this card is hanging out over here. Strength card here. Um, but with autonomy, there's an energy here of this person is... Um, it's like they they go by their own rules, basically. You know, glam energy, glam. It's like this person marches to the beat of their own drum. They create their own bedtime. Do you understand? So, like, this person governs themselves. They have no one that they have to answer to. Do you understand? And I feel like this is the energy in this connection. Which is why we see, you know, someone who is very eager or very comfortable with being in a connection with multiple people. Do you know what I'm saying? So I feel like there you do have one person who's very free. Um, you know, they very much represent themselves as this, but they also have this energy of they want to have one person that they're, that is only for them. But it's weird because it's like they have this expectation of this person, but they don't have the same expectation of their own self here. That's kind of what I'm saying. And I feel like you're side eyeing this person because they're being a hypocrite. Do you understand? They're being a hypocrite. They're expecting you to allow what they want to do while you are excited to, you know, be fully 100% committed to them or wait for them, you know what I'm saying, while they're out doing whatever it is they're doing with other people. And you're not for it. This person is for the streets, Pisces. They are for the streets. So that is basically the challenge here. Under the deck, we have Bliss, Agbaye which is also number 21, which is interesting because this is, uh, 21 is, um, represents the world. 
Okay, this rep this is representative of the world. Okay, so there's an energy of, you know, things are changing. Things are changing. And there's an energy of someone is getting tired of this or they're, you know, starting to want to find closure. Okay, they 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 want to get out of this situation. Um, they no longer want to be in the energy of someone who only wants to follow their own rules. You know what I'm saying? It's not a two-way street here. It's not a very fair situation. So let's clarify here. Tell me about glamour energy here. Tell me about glamour energy or glam. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about... Okay, and we have standing your ground here, seven of wands. And again, this is an energy of someone who is very assertive. This person, you know, stands up for what they believe in and they are going to fight for that. They're going to, you know, if this person wants to have a night out you know, with the girls, or if they want to be by themselves, this is the way it's going to be. And you're not going to disturb this person's peace, right? Underneath the deck, we have the king of pentacles. But then at the same time, there's an energy of wanting to feel like you're safe in a commitment. So there's an energy of this person wanting to, you know, stand up for their own time and energy they also want to have the comfort of knowing that there's someone who's at home, someone who's waiting for them. You know what I'm saying? So, and look with the nine of swords, you're definitely at home waiting, but there's an energy of feeling like you're just left on bread. You know what I'm saying? Tell me about autonomy here, please. This is somebody who, you know, they govern themselves. They don't, no one can tell this person what to do. Tell me about autonomy. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. And that almost went in the reverse. It came out sideways, you guys. It, it came out like this. So it was more in the reverse than it was in the upright. Um, but when it's in the upright, you guys, it refers to someone who is very reliable, um, someone who you can count on, someone who's always there. And listen, that is what this person wants, right? But they don't want to follow the rules. Um, they don't necessarily want to follow anyone else's rules. And with, when it's in the reverse, you guys, this is an energy of someone who is very, very greedy. This person wants to have things their way, um, you know, and that's it. Um, this person is, you know, a very, I'd say this person lacks inspiration, almost like a, oh, there's like an energy of this person almost just kind of being, I don't want to call them a, we'll, we'll call them a scrub. We'll call them a scrub. It's just an energy of somebody who is like trying to call the shots here, but they don't have anything to shoot with. You know what I mean? <laughs> Under the deck, you have the six of pentacles. See, this is an energy of this person. It's like, it's like an energy of, you know, <sighs> And it's funny because we're seeing this is like a gift. Do you understand? The Six of Pentacles represents a gift. Um, and it also represents things being very one-sided in the connection. And I'm definitely feeling like this is the energy here. You know, there's an energy of this person wants to have their way. And, you know, they don't want to bend for anyone else. They want others to make sacrifices for them, but they don't want to make the same sacrifices for others. They want someone to wait at home for them, but they don't want to be at home and accountable for their person. Do you understand? So somebody who is just a very greedy individual and they want their way and there you go. 
go with the world once again. You have the world coming in. This is what's leading to you walk, wanting to walk away from this person. Tell me about the world, please. Tell me about the world. It's kind of a turnoff for you. You know what I'm saying? And look, we have the five of wands in the reverse. And listen, this is very clear. When you decide that and you are, you know, walking away or moving away from this person, this is when this person is going to come in, you know what I'm saying, with the attention. Because this talks about someone who's trying to make peace, someone who's trying to avoid conflict with their person at all costs, like, baby, please don't go. You know, it's just a, a temporary setback. I literally can hear this person saying this is just a temporary setback. Do you understand? Look at this, Ace of Wands, but this person's a whole hoochie flame. <laughs> they are a whole hoochie flame with their wand just out for the taking you understand but it's like they're very quick to go off and do these things but then they're just as quick to come back and take it all back you know so there's an energy of you just you know you're 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 just wanting to move on you don't trust this person they're all over the place like i said all over the place Okay, so let's see now what energies that are third party or outside energies that may be affecting the connection. We definitely saw that triangle, that love triangle here. So let's just see what's going on here. Tell me about Pisces, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about Pisces, Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about any third party energies or outside influences that are affecting the connection right now. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell me about Pisces, please. Holy Spirit, okay. Okay, so they went in the reverse. We have Asapta, which represents clarity in the reverse. Okay. And we also have codes in nature, which represents miracles in the reverse. And where else did we see miracles? The divine will help you recognize signs and miracles and here it's in the reverse so i feel like and we saw recognition come out with synchronicity and i told you there's an energy of you know you're going to start to see signs that you know something is going on with your person okay um you're going to realize that this is happening and with clarity in the reverse there's an energy of you feeling like your person is trying to keep you from finding out a truth or trying to keep you from saying something you see like this person appears to be either they're blind you know what i'm saying or they just have on really really um dark sunglasses maybe the light is so bright but there's something that is hindering their vision it's in the reverse here so there's an energy of this person is um you know something is keeping this person from seeing what they need to see here okay and again with miracles in the reverse there's definitely an energy of you know it's starting to feel more like a curse there's an energy of you know there is definitely some lower vibrational um, activity that you don't see going on. And under the deck, we have legacy. And it says conjuring. Do you? Oh, my gosh. See, listen. And we have beyond. Uwa Aljana, which talks about the beyond. And we see conjuring. There is an energy of someone who's just very low bright, vibrational, who is dark, who um, carries around, you know, negative energies. Um, you know what I'm saying? Or there's an energy of someone who's actively conjuring up negativity right now. So this third party or whoever this energy is or this outside person is definitely one to side eye. Okay, so 
you, I mean, literally you got miracles in the reverse with conjuring and beyond that gives, makes me nervous with clarity in the reverse. It's like everything opposite of light. Do you understand what I'm saying right now? So whoever this third party is, they are a very dark energy um, and definitely a very negative influence here. Tell me about clarity in the reverse. Spirit angels and guides. Tell me about clarity in the reverse. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Okay, and we got the four of cups. So listen, there's an energy of, you know, you really just starting to feel disconnected from this person. There's an energy of feeling just kind of not feeling well. You know, the four of cups can be someone who's depressed or they just really don't feel a lot of high energy or they don't really feel like being bothered or part of the group or active. There's an energy of, you know, being stifled or muffled. So if you're like even starting to feel like tired or feeling like you don't want to get out of the bed and you don't know why or you don't have energy to do the things that you normally do all the time and you just don't want to and you don't know why cancer this may be why i feel like this outside person or this third party is a very negative or low vibrational influence this person may even be giving you the evil eye but there's just an energy of just a negative person um, and see, Seven of Cups under the deck. This is somebody who is definitely, you are feeling like you're very depressed or you're starting to feel like confused, or very cloudy headed, like you're not thinking straight or you just don't want to be bothered. There's just an energy of you just don't want to be bothered. You're not really, everything is cloudy. And again, this is a very oppressive energy. Okay. Interesting. Tell me about miracles in the reverse. It's like this person, it's like things may be starting to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like your tire might, you know, go flat and the same day you might, you know, run over the curb and like do something to your fender. I don't know. It's just like, seems like things are just not going well. Tell me about miracles in the reverse. And we have the Ace of Swords. Now, this represents truth or look at that word that we're saying, clarity. Do you see that? Clarity. And this talks about miracles in the reverse. And this is you finding out a truth or realizing a truth about something. You're, it's like you're starting to get, things are starting to become more clear. Okay. It's starting starting to become more clear to you. And look, underneath the deck with the three of swords, there's an energy of definitely um, wanting to separate yourself from this. There's an energy of feeling sad all of a sudden, feeling like, you know, you just want to cry all the time. You don't want to get out of bed. You know, um, also, this is representative of this truth coming in about this third party. You're going to find out a truth about this third party. And, you know, this is what's going to be the eye opener for you. But there's an energy of this person has had a very, um, a, a hold on you for a very long time. But I do see your eyes becoming open here. But tell me about conjuring here or legacy. It's like this person may have gone to some sort of ancestor or someone. Tell me about conjuring and the four of pentacles. Like there's something that this person is keeping from you. It's like this person is like, this person may have a family member who may, you know, practice in, you know, things of that nature, um, where they're literally going in and conjuring up situations or playing with, you know, spiritual work that they should not be on. You know what I'm saying? Just like a darker energy, you know, 
just messing with things that they have no idea. Under the deck, the chariot. And this is why this talks about control and, you know, someone who's trying to win over a situation or, you know, someone who's being victorious or successful with a situation or triumphant. This is somebody who's winning. OK, but they're they're keeping a secret. They're keeping things to themselves, but they're trying to win someone over or or control someone where this is an energy of someone who is keeping it a secret on where they're going or what their end objective is you know so i would just kind of be mindful around this person because they are going to elements you know in of the beyond you know perhaps to get information or this could represent an energy of you feeling sad you feeling depressed you needing to see the truth not knowing what the truth is and you may be seeking out others to get information and i, I mean spiritual so you know just because it's of the beyond it doesn't say what direction <laughs> doesn't say what direction and it, you know just because there's angel wings doesn't mean that it's positive so never just assume okay energy is light and energy is dark energy is you know good and energy is bad energy is holy and energy is evil so you know you have to be able to discern the difference between the two Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and clarify. Tell me about beyond. Tell me about beyond. Let's see. Was it a, a good or a dark situation? Oh, that card looked like it went in the reverse. I don't even want to pick it up, y'all. That's okay. We got the incense. <laughs> let's blow the incense over here, Pisces. Okay. What is this energy here? It did go in the reverse, you guys. Oh, it didn't. It didn't go in the reverse. And this is the two of cups. This is the two of cups. So listen, there is an energy of this person um, is, you know, hurting because they truly loved this person. So this could be your energy, Pisces. This could be the energy of you feeling this hurt for this person and needing to know or have more clarity into what exactly is happening here. Because with clarity in the reverse, again, that represents someone who just can't really see the truth for what it is. Okay. Seven of cups and the four of cups. It's like, you're not really latching on to what's taking place with your person because it hurts ultimately ultimately it hurts you really do love this person under the deck three of pentacles it's like you want things to work you want things to work out in this sense and um there's an energy of seeking someone for help you just want help you just want assistance to get back with your person do you see that two of cups and the three of pentacles with beyond so this is um, not in, as dark as it could have been, <laughs> but you do, you know, it could go either way, you guys, with the tarot. So I, I don't want to assume ever. I like to channel the energy. I wasn't seeing anything dark. We do have the magician here. But again, I feel like this person was in an energy of seeking out assistance on a lighter side. Um so this person also could have been getting tarot readings, just an energy of trying to find answers. And again, this could be your energy. This could be vice versa. Okay, it could be flipped. Pisces, that could be you. And this could be the energy of you seeking out answers here as to what is happening with your person. So let's see what you don't see. What is it that Pisces doesn't see? Or what is the future test that you are going to run into. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell me about Pisces. And we have the void and we have act, which is spirit. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Oh boy. You guys, this is spirit and the correlating energy 
or the key word is act. So there is some act, the spiritual act or some act that is going to take place. Um, or this is someone's spirit guides that are coming in to do something. And with divine feminine and the void here. Let me just see that. Divine feminine and the void. You know, the void I see is a, a place or a um, location of no return. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? But this is the divine feminine who is within this area. So it's like once you enter in, you know, there's no returning. Okay. Um, yeah, there's definitely going to be something that's going to happen. I feel like this person, there may be some sort of a love spell that this person is going to cast, I feel like, over this divine feminine energy. Okay. Um Underneath the deck, we have, oh, wow, silent retreat, silence, and we have the void here. Look at this, with spirit and act. I definitely feel like this is um, definitely light energy here or a good spiritual energy here, but there's an energy of, you know, set, being separated and being protected. Did, do you notice that? It's like this divine feminine is protected in this voided area. No one can enter in this voided space without not coming back out. So there's an energy of being protected. All bad things are going to stay away. Anything that is good is what's going to be coming towards this divine feminine energy here. So they're behind a shield. Do you see that? It's like a protective shield. And look, you have silent retreat, and this represents silence. This is an energy of, you know what? Um, I now have my peace. I now have my peace. That is what is coming towards you. I feel like the divine, your divine spirit guys are going to push you into solitude or into your um, void space here. Okay. But let's go ahead and clarify. Tell me about act, please. Holy Spirit, guides. tell me about spirit and act. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about spirit. And we have the Ace of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. And this is a new start. This is someone starting fresh, starting over, moving towards love that is going to be over pouring, okay, beyond their understanding. Your spiritual guides are pushing you towards something new, a new beginning, a new relationship, a new person, Pisces, new love. Under the deck, the six of wands. This is success. This is you being victorious. This is you, you know, slaying that dragon and getting everything that you deserve. But it's going to be new. You are going to walk away from this person. That five of swords energy. This person is not meant for you. There's a bunch of hostilities um, that are going to be at play here. There is going to be, I feel like, a, you know, a moment. Okay when you separate from this person, but once you do, you're gone. Once you do, you're gone. Once you get out of that labyrinth or that maze, you're not going to get, you're not going to go back. That's like trying to get a, a cat back in the bathroom after. <laughs> it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Do you understand? Not if it's a smart cat. Um, tell me about the void, please. Tell me about the void. They don't like water, <laughs> basically. Oh, that went in the reverse for sure. And look, we have that five of swords came out in the reverse. You guys, I can't make it up. What did I tell you? And this is someone who is wanting to compromise. <laughs> 
of all things. Somebody who wants to end the conflict. Can you imagine this person coming in after you found out that they've been with like a love triangle or a whole menage, whatever you call it, but they've had a whole situation and now they're coming in wanting to make peace with you. I would not want to enter beyond this void. Do you understand? This looks like a very, very upset female. <laughs> Doesn't it remind you of the alien? Remember the alien, the movie, the alien? That's kind of how the alien looked when it like got to his fullest form. Yeah, that's pretty freaky. It also kind of looks like, um, it looks like several things that I've seen in movies. But that one movie with uh, Chris Tucker, what was that movie where he was like in, in outer space? That was one of my favorite movies. Y'all can't believe it. If y'all get the name of that movie, let me know in the comment section and I will give you a free one question reading. Okay, I can't think of that movie right now. One of my favorite, favorite movies of all time. If anybody can think of it, let me know in the comments and the first, first person or actually send me an email because that's how I'm going to get it time stamped. Or you can do it in the comments. Comment section or email. Let's make it fair. First person to email me, okay, with the information, okay, for what movie that was with Chris Tucker and he was in outer space. I can't think of it right now. It's not coming to me, but it was one of my favorite movies of all time. But this looks exactly like the freaking alien woman that was like seeing opera do you know what i'm talking about i know you know she was a whole blue person too crazy sick that was like one of my favorite parts of the movie too my favorite scenes was that part where she was like singing and after she got like shot or something it was crazy crazy um but yeah anyways five of swords in reverse i can't imagine coming in to want to make sorry with this person under the deck, look at that, King of Swords. I'm sorry, I'm just not. I am not. This is talking about a truthful conversation, okay? But somebody who's feeling, you know, coming in, you know, very, very um, brave as well, but a very unemotional energy. But this is, again, somebody who is just like very detached, okay? Very detached, Um but very much kind of like in their head, not feeling any emotions whatsoever. So I, I wouldn't recommend it, okay? I would not recommend it, period, point blank. I'm sorry, I'm just I just don't. Tell me about silence, please. Tell me about silence, please, Holy Spirit. I can't believe we got that. and we got the lovers. I can't believe that we have the void here. That's crazy. Um, but we have the lovers here with silent retreat. And again, this is talking about someone who's making a basically making a decision on whether or not to stay in this connection or to go. And with silent retreat, I feel like there's an energy of, you know, you've pulled back. Page of Wands here. This is an energy of somebody who is, you know. It's like this person is just rather go elsewhere, okay? Somebody who's just, they're ready to go. They're ready to go. They don't have time to sit and wait on somebody to give them their marching orders. Like is before, this person is leaving at 259.5. They're not waiting on the three o'clock hour. Do you understand? They're already packing their bags, you know, and they're already in movement before the bell is ringing. So, yeah, there's an energy of, you know, you don't want to go backwards. Look at this five of cups, you know. Ah, crazy energy here. Um, let's see. What is the advice here for Pisces? Holy Spirit, angels, and God. About the advice for Pisces, please. 
Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about the advice for Pisces. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Okay. And we have unconditional love, blueprint. And we have Santa Morte, Morte, which is offering. And we have Alabasisipo, which is union. Look at this. So blueprint, offering, and union. And this is the advice for you, Pisces. And with this offering, this is like the Grim Reaper. We talked about this before. Um, we got this on another reading. Um, but with this offering here, I do feel like there's an energy of, you know, there's a time to give and there's a time to take, basically. Or, um, you know, you've been given a blessing and now what are you going to do with that blessing? You know, um, or how are you going to be a blessing elsewhere? How are you going to carry that forward? With a blueprint, unconditional love, there's an energy of, you know, the blueprint is nothing but love unconditional love. This is how you're going to carry forward, Pisces, even though you've been hurt. This is how you're going to be able to move forward towards a new connection with union here. Do you see that? How that makes so much sense? And there's an energy of having that rite of passage, okay? Um, just because you were in a situation, it was ugly, it was chaotic, it was messy, you know, like all the all the essays were there. It was just ugly. Do you understand? Um, all the ease. <laughs> all the ease were involved in this previous connection. But the blueprint that you are going to be able to take forward, this is the offering that you'll be able to give the tally man when you're going on, on your journey to the afterlife. Do you understand? This is kind of one of the beliefs I know um, that uh, uh, the ancients had um, and some still practice this belief or theory, um, but you carry something with you so that you will be able to be allowed entrance into the afterlife. And this afterlife is this union, do you understand? And the blueprint, all you need to have in order to have love is to be love. Do you understand? The same love that you came with is the same love that you're going to leave with. It's the same love that you're going to find someone new with. And it's the same love that you're going to live with happily ever after. Do you understand? So it's all about keeping that blueprint. And this looks like the, a heart. If you ask me, this is a heart. This is definitely a heart. You see the aorta and all those chambers poking out. That's beautiful. Um, so, yeah. Yes. And look, we have changed. Numo, nomo. This is one of my favorite cards. Favorite cards. Numo, no mo. It's almost like no mo, no mo. No more, no more do I have to go through this ever again. And we have Osusi, 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 which is nature, and it's in the reverse. And I said that this card represents someone who's going out and bringing back, like the hunter-gatherer. This is an energy of the masculine, or this is an energy of someone who is the breadwinner or who is able to um, make things grow, Okay take a, a 15 cents and turn it into a dollar. Do you understand this? Is somebody who's able to bring back blessings, but when it's in the verse with change here, you're going to have to move on in order to receive the blessings that you want or that you completely know that you deserve. Okay. Let's just put it that way. Wow. 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 And wow. Let's clarify. Tell me about blueprint, please, or unconditional love, Holy Spirit, and grace and guidance. Tell me about blueprint, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about blueprint, Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. 
the Ten of Pentacles. Listen, um, this is you having everything that you want and desire. This is you getting love, happiness, um, the relationship, the family, um, having good, solid foundations, money, riches, support from others, you know, everything that you value and believe in right there. And you are moving towards that. You carry the blueprint with you for that. Okay. You are the culmination. This is that word culmination. I'm seeing that keyword on this card. You are the culmination of all of these things within your heart. You already have the blueprint within you, Pisces. So there's no need to worry when you go into the afterlife. And this is interesting because those of you who believe in Jesus, those of you who believe in God, the Trinity, you don't need anything but that belief ingrained in your heart. That peace, that love, that spirit is already with you. So therefore, it wipes out the need to have a tally men offering for the tally men because you have that blood offering already in your heart. The blueprint is already there. Do you see that? Get it how you live it. My ears are ringing right now, Cancer. I know I'm delivering a message from the divine. Do you understand? You don't mess with the Trinity, but there it is. And my ears are ringing, ringing unconditional love is in your heart pisces and i'm i'm starting to feel emotional right now in this reading and i'm not really sure why right now um but i'm channeling someone who's getting very emotional right now but um you have a lot of love within you and you are love so wherever you go wherever you end up wherever you settle your hat there will be love there waiting for you but your ability to see and feel it may be stifled if you're in a situation that you should not be in no more no more the abundance is not in the building here so therefore i feel like you're not going to culminate this ten of pentacles until you've gone <gasps> nine of pentacles under the deck and i didn't purposefully did not look under the deck until the end of all of that explanation because i wanted to get that out spirit wanted that to come out this is a definitely a beautiful reading and it's resonating with me but i have a little bitty tear in my left eye it's not gonna fall it didn't it didn't swell up that much but it is a little moist <laughs> i hate that word it's a little wet under my left eye here um but yeah i felt that energy you're gonna have to get the strength and you know what <gasps> cancer remember the strength card oh and i couldn't i didn't understand why the strength card came out i was like why is that card mixed in this deck it was like underneath this deck here and i didn't know why look at how beautiful spirit is to me it is so beautiful to me i'm gonna light some more incense on that note because that was absolutely powerful oh my god you're gonna have to get the strength to stand in your singleness and walk away. Okay, we're going to try to get through this reading in the next 30 minutes, you guys. Um, I have an errand to run, and then I'm going to come back with a message for cancer. But this is beautiful. Before we go into the air signs, you guys. We will be coming back and doing all 12 signs individually. But Pisces, this is your day. And what a day it is. Beautiful energy. And those of you who felt that... I want to know in the comments it, if you resonate with that because it hit me heavy. And I just want to know what subscriber I'm channeling with right now because I just felt your energy, honey. It is all going to be okay. You are so much love within you. The situation that you have been dealing with and accepting it's not one that you're comfortable with. You've not been comfortable with this the entire time. You've side-eyed the situation the entire time, but you've allowed it. 
you've allowed it, but you've grown into having hostilities because of it. And with Lucky here, I feel like you have a very good aura, very good energy with Meditate. You know, this is what you do. This is what you do. But you need to stay optimistic because you are going to find yourself coming into something very beautiful. Okay. When you get out of that labyrinth, you understand with lovers and community and dreams, I feel like everything that you've wanted is going to just flood towards you flood towards you like the divine is going to pay you back tenfold for taking a leap tell me about offering tell me about who's going to offer who what look at <gasps> look at this pisces this is gorgeous the wheel of fortune honey i am telling you i don't know who this reading is for i'm getting hot right now I don't know who this reading is for, but this is some beautiful energy, powerful, powerful. You are going to get everything that you deserve. This is an energy of someone who is not able to step in the same river twice. Okay. That will of fortune keeps going. Okay. It keeps going. You may fall into bad times again, but you're not going to fall back into the same situation ever again. You've made the decision that you're not staying in the same toxic horrible path of non-growth. You want to grow. You want to grow. Underneath the deck, the fool. You are getting ready to pick up your suitcase. You are going to pack light because it is time for you to go on a journey. And this is going to be a very good journey. You're going back to zero here. Back to zero. You're getting ready to hit the reset button. You were at 10. Look at this, number 10. You're at the end now, but you are getting ready to hit the reset button and you are getting ready to start over fresh. And this is going to be a beautiful thing with union coming up. I feel like you are getting ready to meet your person. Tell me about union. Once you walk away, you're going to be be available for that person to come in. Number two, high priestess. Do you understand? The divine is getting ready to bring in your soulmate. And we saw that as well. We saw soulmate, you guys. And we saw occupation and gift. Occupation and gift. And I said the energies could be flipped here, you guys. And I'm definitely seeing that in this reading. I'm seeing it in this reading. So... Take it how it resonates, Cancer, or in Pisces. I'm sorry. Under the deck, Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands. Just when you are, you know, tired of waiting or just when you're thinking it's just, it's never going to happen, you know, I feel like this is when your person is going to come in. Tell me about new mo, no mo, change. And we'll also clarify nature in the reverse. Tell me about new moon, no mo, change and nature in the reverse. And we have the king of wands. See, this is you putting your foot down. This is you getting sick and tired of being sick and tired. This is you becoming bold. This is somebody lighting a fire up someone's, you know, where and just kind of out of the blue. They're like, you know what? I am starting. I want to make decisions. I'm going to make a change here. I'm not going back to the same BS. Look at this. The death card under the deck. I can't make this up. Major Arcana number 15. The, I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> not Major Arcana number 15. The death card is number 13 in the Major Arcana. But this talks about transformation. This talks about endings. This talks about you changing ultimately. Change. This represents change. You are moving on. This is also emotional upheaval. This is unexpected change. All of a sudden, with that King of Wands, what did I tell you? All of a sudden, under the deck, we have the moon. This is an energy of, you know, Things may not be, you may not know what the road is going to be on the other side, but you know that it has to be better. You know, no matter what, it can't be this. 
Do you understand? So there's an energy of just wanting to do what's best for you. So that is gorgeous. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. So now let's look to see what future predictions or anything that may be coming up in the near future for you, Pisces. Tell me about Pisces, please. Any future predictions? Anything that may be coming up for Pisces? Okay, all right. Came out sideways, but we got Omo, family. We got Nana Baruku, essence. And we have crystal technology, silicone. I think of the Silicon Valley. We had this card once the other day. We talked about the West Coast, and it pretty much was resonating with that energy <laughs> as well. If you look at, uh, go to my channel, Tarot Talk Live, subscribe there and check out that reading we did. It was an anonymous celebrity conspiracy twin flame reading. Oh my goodness, you guys, you don't want to miss it. Go check that out. Very interesting. Um, but Omo family, and we have essence and silicon here. So you may be moving west. You may be meeting someone and you may end up raising your family. You know, on the West Coast, you may be, meet someone who's into computers. Um, I feel like there's an energy of, you know, this may be what this all about, what this person is all about. They may be very into um, computers. They may be an IT person. OK, um, but I feel like this person is very successful because of this. And trust me, if you live in the Silicon Valley, baby, you got some money. You got some money. You're coming from money. <laughs> you are coming from money and I'm seeing all brightness. I am seeing this is all very light energy. You see the colors here? All the stars, the sun. Do you see that huge, huge crystal? This person is holding bigger than their hand. So just a lot of very positive energy coming from this. Under the deck, we have transformation, EQ. And we have balance, which is also chaos. The key word is chaos. So you're transforming, you're coming into an energy of being very balanced. You're coming from a very chaotic situation and you're moving towards happiness. I definitely see you having a child or a family or a baby with this person. You see a man who's holding a baby and there's another smaller child next to them in this photo. They're looking in the mirror at this. Tell me about family, please. And we have the world. I feel like you're going to be moving this person may live on the other side of the world. They, you know, you may have to travel to get with this person. Ten of Cups, family, listen, and the Hierophant. I, I can't make it up, you guys. I am trying to tell you there is an energy of you are going to travel across the world to be with this person. Or this person may travel across the world to be with you. Either way it goes, this is somebody who you're going to marry. You're going to have kids with this person and you're going to be very happy, Cancer. Pisces. I'm sorry. Pisces. Pisces. Tell me about essence and silicone. It's like this person makes money from working on computers or. or we have the three of wands. This is an energy of someone this person moves around or they travel very freely. Do you see that? Travel. This person is free to travel because of their job. And IT people, they can work remotely. So there's an energy of this person is 
definitely a mover and a shaker under the deck two of pentacles look at this this person is you know making decisions with money they're flexible they're able to move around this person is flexible they're able to travel because of their job or there's an energy of this person is going to travel do you know what i mean towards you this is gorgeous confirmation but this is what's going to happen you may travel to meet meet or live with this person or they may travel to be with you tell me about transformation and chaos this is all about change and chaos look you have the nine of swords this is someone who is being anxious someone who is kind of nervous about this change you know things are going to be very chaotic maybe when this first happens there may be a lot of moving around in order to be in this connection and it may make you a bit nervous but it says not to fear stay optimistic about your love life the queen of swords under the deck it's all about you know just kind of keeping your eyes open you know what i mean keeping your back straight and just kind of keeping your eyes open and making the right decisions. No need to be nervous. No need to fear. You're in an energy of being afraid of the unknown or things that, you know, being afraid because you made mistakes in the past. You understand? Um, but no. Just keep your eyes open. But this was a gorgeous, gorgeous reading. I'm going to pull a love oracle for you, Pisces. I always like to close it out with love oracle. Tell me about Pisces, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about Pisces, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Okay. Something very specific is coming. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Okay. Whoa. That was very specific because that was sticky. These cards have never been this sticky. Okay, let's get a look at that and take that energy in before I read it to you. It says, deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Pisces, it's time to move on. It's time to move on while staying optimistic. But at the same time, it also says, do what feels right. You already know. You already know the answer deep down. And I said that before. We said this before. Just meditate. It's already in you. The truth is already in you. You just have to accept the truth and then move accordingly. Do you understand? Oh, my God. I love you guys so, so much. This was such a beautiful reading, such beautiful energy. I pray that it resonates with one more or all of you. And I love you guys so, so much. Let me know how it resonates in the comments. Comment. Let me know what you guys want to win. All that good stuff. Send me an email. Go to the website. Book a reading. Come back. Keep your notifications on. And I'm going to go live. We are going to go live, you guys. I'm not playing. It's going to happen. All right. So when that happens, there's no stopping. I will see you guys soon. Bye.